Damn, even in outhouses you get to find keys. I'm not touching that. I mean, that's just a, well, yeah, I get it. Let's play Deep Door. Hello and welcome to Hula Noob Plays Short Indie Horror Games. And today I'm going to play a game. I saw that on Twitter. It was supposed to be part of the, um, I think, Summer of Shivers, but I think the developer didn't quite make the time. And honestly, I'd rather have a finished game than just a barely finished game for a game jam. I, I don't know. It, I love the... Here's the thing, I the the name Deep Door already conjures up so many horrible images <laughs> that I really want to play this. And um, so here's the thing, somewhere between the world and the mind lie deep doors. You travel into the middle of nowhere to investigate a cabin in the woods. You had heard about the Deep Door urban legend, you just never expected to find out it's all too real. Maybe it's more of a threshold. I mean, oh, inspired by the films being John Markovich and The Silence of the Lambs. I watched both those movies because I'm... I'm old and I enjoy both movies actually and also I'm wondering how you can combine those two movies so let's go no I can't run oh I don't want to run running means scary things will happen oh better keep my car here away from this cabin uh which cabin th th is there where's the cabin What's that? Oh, and I have stamina. Oh, but it's it's nice. It's good stamina. It's forgiving stamina. Oh, there's my flashlight. Okay, I'll have that on. Middle of nowhere. There's nothing out there. I need to go to the cabin if I want to know the truth. Okay. It gives me a backstory. That's guy. I always appreciate a backstory for being like... Oh, so that's not... Oh, I thought that was the cabin, but it's not. Okay. Okay. I always appreciate if I actually get a reason why I'm in, you know, like, completely godforsaken environment. Oh, yeah, neighbor. Please do your repairs right now. Okay. So that's the cabin, I guess. There's a car, so is someone there? Do I have to say something about this? His van, he could be around. Who? Who? Who is he? Let's look around first before we enter the cabin. What's that? Oh, is that a toilet? Oh my god, that's an outhouse. Wonder what's in here. Um, interact? I mean, wonder what's in here? <laughs> what? It's, it's a toilet. And a key! Damn, even in outhouses you get to find keys. I'm not touching that. I mean, that's just, a, well, yeah, I get it. But you, uh, I mean, you also touch the key and you don't know what, you know, what happened with that key, why it was there. Wait, oh, there's the cabin. Already lost my way. <laughs> I hope you can't hear the neighbor doing repairs or whatever. Oop. Okay, oh yeah. Turn on TV? That's never scary. Uh, no, okay. <sighs> okay. Hmm. That's so weird. It's all static, but I can hear someone speak his name. Who's he? Who is he? Maybe it's about more than just the deep door. Maybe there's something that also is this is no that's it's an oven, right? Yeah, I think it's an oven. Ugh. This is missing. Okay. Can I open this? No. It's the bathroom. Another key. Something in the toilet? No. Oh, you disappoint me, horror. Horror game toilet. Hmm. But... What about Deep Door? Oh! Wait, what? Dear Jeff, I can feel them everywhere now. I don't know how to thank you for this. You are most welcome to visit at any time. Signed, Ted. So I'm Jeff. And he is Ted. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like there's something behind this. Oh, suddenly! 
suddenly it's interesting oh that's the deep door is this is it you know what actually when i think of small creepy doors i'm not even thinking of being john markovich but i'm thinking of the channel zero the last season of the anthology horror series channel zero because there was something there was something about a door and it was that if you if you can watch it i so recommend it it is it's honestly it's one of the best Ugh. okay <laughs> it's one of the best horror series ever and i watched a lot That's not worth it. I don't, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a woman of science, but there's certain things where I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't need to know. Oh, that sound also when I'm going. <gasps> Damn. Oh God. <gasps> This is so scary. Oh my god. This is terrifying. Let it be known, I will immediately die if, if I have to run away. Also, this is brain matter or like intestines. I don't want to go in here. Okay, but at least... Ah! Oh no! <laughs> you found eternal pain! <laughs> I mean, can I? You know what? I will try this once again, but I'm not quite sure whether I can actually run. You found eternal pain, that's not good. There's many things I like to find in life, but not eternal pain. I really like that this is so short, but through the visuals, like even being able to look up and you don't really know what the heck this is, and the noise, I think this is really smart working with the sound. Because, you know, I mean... Just that noise, it, it makes me... I actually can run! But where? I mean, this is an endless maze of horror... Oh, no! Oh. Okay, I think this was it. Super short, really good. I, yeah, I really enjoyed this. There's something about just the right use of certain visuals, certain concepts, and sound also. Sound plays such a big... It, it, I mean, it, it's not necessary. I think you can tell a good story without any sound. Um, but if you use it and you're smart with it, you can just completely enhance the 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 whole experience and you don't even need sometimes games even work without any monster visuals or whatever just with sound because like going downstairs and then hearing that screaming behind those big doors that alone just ugh, made me tense up so this game is really smart in what it uses. I like that, you know, suddenly you, you had this big thing where you were going down and it suddenly didn't look like an earthly place anymore. <laughs> and also the intestines tunnel. Um, so yeah, if, if the developer sees this, um, you, you I, I'm not quite sure whether there's an ending if I can run away or whether the ending is actually, you know, that's the ending like or whether there's two endings like getting killed and and something else but if there is an alternative ending please tell me um because i just i, I want to know whether there's more than eternal pain waiting for me <laughs> but other than that what a great um what a great game yeah i will put the link to this game in the liner notes so you can play it yourself and maybe even beat it 
and uh, also you can tell me about other games that you want me to play if you have something where you feel like you know what if you like this one then maybe you enjoy this one you know i'm very open also if you have any comments on this game uh, any thoughts then please tell me and also if you haven't subscribed yet which is very probable <laughs> then you can do so and I will promise you I will not leave my tiny hellscape door open so even if you want to because you're curious you won't be able to enter it and you can thank me later you know because there will not be there will not be eternal pain waiting for you that's what I'm doing for you so subscribe I hope you had a good time I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you soon Bye bye bye. This is my self recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.